All right, here we go. Lender Equalities number four. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. It's number four. This is an Arabic number four for those that didn't know. Yeah, it looks kind of like a backwards three or a backwards E or a forwards E that's kind of curvy, but it's an Arabic four. Anyway, I want to do some word problems. So let's do some word problems before we uh, finish up today. So here's the first one. The sum of a number and four is at least seven. Okay, so the sum of a number and four, so let's just say our number is x to keep things easy. So the sum would be x plus four, right? That's the sum of a number and four, is at least, okay, so is right there, that's giving you the indication that this is going to now be equal to or less than or greater than, okay? Now, is at least 7, okay? Now, if you tell me that you have at least 73 boyfriends, then what does that mean? That means you have maybe 73, but you maybe have 74, 75, right? That means that whatever number this is, is going to be at least, so it could be equal to 7, but it might be more than 7, right? That's what at least means. It means it could be that or it could be more. So from there, now we just got to solve it, right? So let's just subtract the 4, and we got x is greater than or equal to 7 minus 4, which is 3. We're going to do our number line because that's what we should do because we're good little algebra students. And we got a 3 there, and we want x to be greater than or equal to 3, so we're going to put a dot. The dot resembles that it's equal to, and then to show that it's greater, x can be anything greater. And there you go. Now you can put any number over here, so anything bigger than 3 in for x, and it will work in this equation. All right? Let's look at one more since we got a little bit more time. So let's take 5 minus 6 times a number is more than four times the number plus 45. All right, so here we go. Word problem number two, five minus six times a number. Now, sometimes there comes a little bit of confusion here because people aren't sure whether it's five minus six and then all of that times x or whether it's five minus six times x like this. My recommendation is, is that they will follow PEMDAS unless they specify something else. So if they put a comma here, that means the five minus six needs to happen first. Okay, if they said the quantity of 5 minus 6, that would tell you to put parentheses around it. Okay, but since it says 5 minus 6 times a number, my assumption is, is that the 6 times a number being the stronger PEMDAS operation will happen first. Okay, is more than, so that means it needs to be bigger. Again, the is is demonstrating that we now have two sides, something being compared to something else. If it said is equal to, obviously it's an equal sign, but this needs to be more than four times the same number. And again, the times is a higher order in, in PEMDAS plus 45. Okay, so from there, we should be able to solve. Let's go ahead and I'm going to subtract the five to go over here. Okay, so I'm going to have negative 6x is greater than 4x plus 40. I'm going to subtract the 4x and I'm going to move it up to the top of the page. So negative 6x minus 4x is then minus 10x, which is now going to be greater than 40. The sign is still the same way because I haven't multiplied divide by a negative, but I'm about to. I'm going to divide by a negative 10 here. And remember when you divide by a negative, what should happen to the, the inequality? It should flip around. Okay, so 40 divided by negative 10 is negative 4. Here's the answer. Make sure to do it on a number line and you're done.